Hello and welcome everyone. This is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here. And today I have a rather exciting video. Well, one that's super exciting for me. Now, yes, you're gonna see some eye candy here as well. Um, in fact, I'm just packaging up, as you can see that I have a, a bunch of stuff waiting to go there. Um, a few parcels, this one in particular is off uh, to Global Hunter. Um, so he's uh, <laughs> he's over the moon. It's quite ironic. Um, I could actually drive to him and it'll be cheaper to drive than it would be to post, but I'm just gonna post it, so there you go. Um, anyway, these are the two pens that I've made. This one, I've switched them around, seeing if anyone noticed, but this one here is the Zebrano pen. And this one, of course, is the Red Burl pen. Both of these I've made. This one I made online. This one I made offline, but you guys saw little parts of it, i.e. where it was in its block form. So I'm actually gonna be putting those away into my container, and then eventually I will be putting those on my website. So let's have a look at actually what I have in my container, because all of these apart from one will actually be up for sale. So, what have I been working on? What do I have? I, have? I have quite a few, but not, well, this is just one box. This is the one, obviously, that is not for sale. This is my own pride and joy. And you're gonna notice it's the same design as the two that are shown. And yes, this is genuine snakeskin. And it took an awful long time to basically uh, make a quote blank, uh, as they're known and to then go ahead and to put forth. And this is awesome. This is, you know, a normal writing style. So don't be confused by the actual physical size of the pen. The actual writing style is just unique and it's perfectly contoured to everyone's desires. But as I said, this is not gonna be up for sale. No, that one is my personal and private one. Um, it's just something that I love. I have another one here. This one is made of Bocat or Bocati wood. And this is quite tricky to work with, but you can see here it twists and it goes back, but then you can also twist it the other way and it goes back. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, so this one will be up for sale as will I have a, a very, very small dainty. Um, it's just what we call a postable pen. This is all gold plated and it has a lovely seal there. That's what's making it a little bit tough on it actually. But it is a iridium tipped with gold plate pen. Now, of course you can get rid of this rubber stopper um, however, I like to have it. It is a fountain pen. So of course, like all other fountain pens, you just unscrew it here. And what will be inside will be the same as I do with all of my pens. There's of course the ink facing the other way because I don't want it to puncture inside of there, which is what will trigger the actual use of a fountain pen. And here's the other cool feature on this one. This one actually accepts you to have it so that you can put it on. You have a really smooth and elegant fountain pen. Now, I can't write with fountain pens at all to save my life, so, uh, you know, I'm not gonna pretend that I can. So that's that one. Um, then we have a couple and I will have to show you guys the process of how to make these because I know a lot of people, as I'm doing that, I'm gonna stick these in. This is the Zebrano pen. So I'll put the Zebrano pen there. And this is the Burl Wood pen, a red Burl Wood pen. We'll put that there. Um, but we have the Cactus pen. Again, lovely gold plate. Again, just a nice, simple twist action. And it is resin filled. This is genuine cactus. Honestly, it's amazing. And they take forever to make. It's, um, they are, 
Did you take, I, I would say on average, at least four days to make. Um, and that's just treating the resin, uh, treating the wood, which is cactus wood, and it's really dry and brittle. Same with this one, it's yellow, again, gold plate, just to you know highlight some accents. And uh, yeah, lovely. So instead of having the kind of um, chrome finish, this one has a, a black finish. I didn't wanna to go too blingy with it because of course it already has yellow in it and plenty of gold on it. And the last one, of course, is the Scottish pen as I like to call it, and it's a resin pen. So this one here has the gold, well, the gold on it with the kind of mirrored finish, uh, titanium-like, you got the Scottish symbol, but as you turn it, you, you got like an infinity Scottish again. So it's a really tricky one to go for, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, these are not your everyday pens, everyone. So, that's the pen side of things sorted out. That's the other aspect of it sorted out, such as the postage, which is super awesome. Put these off for when I need to do some photographs. And I do have plenty of those. Now for the main event. This is the super exciting bit. This is the part that well, Victoria Roman Carter would kill me if I didn't put an explosive side to it, my AKA my cannon. So I'm doing that for you, my dear. I hope you enjoy. I have a package. Now, I haven't really, uh, yes, I've opened it. Uh, my details are on the other side. Um, and the other person's uh, details, I think are on the other side as well, but moving on. I haven't opened this up. I haven't really inspected it. So this is gonna be the first time really. Um, I've seen that obviously an item is there, so that's cool. And from here on end, we're gonna look at this together. Now I am gonna to have to zoom in. Oh yeah. You know it's gonna be something special if I have to zoom in. So, let's see here. It seems to go missing. No, just kidding. <laughs> Please tell me it didn't go missing. Okay, right, so I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. I don't feel anything else in here. Yeah, believe it or not, that, that is it. Um, so this came from a member on the Silver Forum. Now, I haven't touched it. I haven't done anything. Um, yeah, let's say packaging, no offense, is not their forte. But, oh well, moving on. Probably don't even need to open this up. I think it'll probably just slide out. Um, I like to package my stuff super tight. Yeah, there we go. So I like to package my stuff super tight and uh, to make sure that everything is up to scratch. And we have here another 110th ounce, 2019 49's Fine Gold Britannia. Now, I'm not terribly worried here, guys, because I'm going to actually be taking this thing out. I'm not going to touch it. Um, if I do end up touching it, then at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, but I'm not going to touch it. It is gold, so it's not going to tarnish. Um, I'm not going to scratch it up. It's going to be there for, for me to enjoy forever. So we got there. Yeah, gold, lovely rimmed. So... Put that down for a second. Pull this all the way out for a minute. Time to get my box of my uh, my thing of gold out. Oh, and I think there's some platinum. Oh yeah. So last time I did a video, I shown that I only had four free spots left in this entire tube. Yep, that's right, four free spots. But it also means I'm gonna to have to buy another tube because realistically, I also have four, and it's the only way to show it to you is really up close again here. Um, and it is the, the actual platinum itself. So let me do that, one second. So here we go, let's have a good look at these. These are all Britannias as well. 
So we've got 2019 Platinum, as you can see here off to the right, Britannia, 2019 up in the left. We have a, I think they're pretty much almost all the same. Go on focus at any given time. Yeah, there we go. We got another 2019 Britannia. Another, oh no, this is a 2018 Britannia. Sorry about that. Yeah, 2018 Britannia. And a 2018. So I actually, I need to get, just for my own kind of peace of mind, I want to get some 2020 Platinum Britannias. That'll just be a bit of fun. So we then also pull out of here. Let's zoom out a bit here. Well, I say zoom out, we'll, we'll have a look. So we got, I think for the most part, every one of these is Britannia, it's apart from these three, which are at the bottom. So the first one that we have is a, here we go, a 2018 $5 maple. Four nines fine gold. A South African uh, Krugerin, 1981 fine gold, one tenth. Now, what you need to do is you need to be careful with these because these are not pure gold. I mean, yes, they have one tenth. This one here, I might have to sell because I do prefer a pure one tenth. I know that sounds silly. Uh, but it's nice to have. And this one here is a very special one. It's a 110th, four nines fine, 2016. But this one is the 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. And that is amazing. So that there is super awesome. So that's, that there is three... Um, one tenth of platinum, uh, sorry, of gold. And then we have here a pile of my other gold. So we have everything from, oops, I'm gonna have to zoom in, won't I? Duh. A 2015, a, I'm really hoping to fill this tube very quickly. Another 2015, a 2014, if I'm missing any years now, I'm gonna to have to, to get it sorted. 2018, because it will be frustrating if I can't. Now that I know that the certain years, 2014, 2015, 2018, 2020. So please let this be at least a, a 2019. And then I know I'm missing a, nope, okay. So I'm missing a 2019 and a 20, um 17 and what was this one again nope okay so i'm missing a 2017 so that's cool that's that's at least good so i'm on the hunt now for 2017 so i'm gonna take one of my spare tubes here and i really do like to, to have things kind of in order and uh in-house i'm just gonna open this up there we go Carefully does it. Put this end down. This is the side I'm going to use. I take my 2019, which I'm super stoked about now because I didn't have this year. I didn't realize I didn't have this year. There we go. Fits perfectly inside, so that's at least a bonus. And we're going to cover it up. There we go, just like that. So, perfect, no rattles, no nothing. So I can now be really 
insane and I can put my pieces down. I can put my Kruger in down first. Then I'm going to drop the, actually I'll drop the um, Pearl Harbor down. Then the maple. Then I'm going to drop my, what is 2014s? Is that enough time? Yep, yeah, 2014s. Two of those. So that's five. I got three 2015s. Uh, so that's eight. Got three 26, uh, 18, sorry, yes. Also, I'm missing 16 as well, arg. Eight. I got nine, 10 of those. Well, no, that's not right. There's more than that in here. What am I doing? I've miscounted all of these golds, didn't I? So let's see here. One. Can't believe I just did that. I'm still holding them in order. One. Come on. Thank you. Just try and slide out of my hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a full ounce. That's us 10, 11, 12, 13, four 110 platinums, which leaves me only three spots available in this tube to fill up, but I'm going to get those missing numbers. I am looking for them, so if anyone does have them, please let me know. I am trying to buy them, and then go from there. Now, obviously, if you do, if you're into the Krugerins, the one-tenth Krugerins, uh, we could obviously do a deal. That's cool. I'm happy to do a deal because I don't collect them. Uh, I just have it because it's a one tenth, um, and that's it. Really, it is super awesome. Because in the end, I believe this thing holds. There is thirteen, seventeen. Yeah, so the, it holds twenty. So it holds two ounces of ultimately what I'm hoping to have gold and platinum in just little tubes. And these things are really great. You can pick them up put them anywhere you like, and they go super quick. Now, they're not as liquid, uh, not as easy to pick up and go as, let's say, um, a one ounce coin, but they are easily, you know, sellable. And during times like this, where prices are astronomical at the moment, um, you know, I remember I bought these, uh, a few of these for under a hundred pounds. Now, 160 is the price that I'm looking at at the moment to buy more of them. So, you know, <laughs> that's 60 pounds more. When I was looking at, I was paying only 100 pounds not so long ago. And of course, with platinum and stuff, that's also gone up. Um, but uh, hey, it's okay. I do have four platinum ones. And of course, I'm happy to make a deal with anybody for gold in uh, exchange of platinum, but uh, I'm kind of at, you no, know, to be fair, I'm probably gonna stick with uh, keeping those platinum rounds um, and just building upon that. So anyway, that's my, my kind of explosive video. Cool prize for Global Hunter 17 in the UK. Some pens going on my website very soon and possibly being listed up on, um, up for sale in, various online platforms because I'm allowed to now. Um, and uh, yeah, this is going back into my little safe because, well, it's only little and it's out of the way and it's not full yet. So it doesn't move on to my big safe till it's completely full. Anyway, I'm sending you a lot to love. If you have watched to the very end, thank you so much. Um, I'll uh, be on later with well, you know what I'm going to be doing. So stick around for that. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you guys in a little while. As always, bye for now from Ace. See ya.